All right, here we go. Black Lemonade review. Let's get her promoted up first because, um, you know, got to test her out during uh, the arena. Inside the arena, if you don't have Ascension for an Epic Cookie right now, nowadays, at least on the top arena, uh, you absolutely get owned. All right, so lucky for me, out of the gotcha that I did, I did get enough to do one star Ascension at least. So that is uh, pretty good for me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Not gonna be as high as Rockstar because dang, Rockstar was worth worth the ascension right away. But here we go. Let's uh, use the concentrate here. We'll use the HP Star Jellies. Use my bomber powders that I've saved up to uh, four thousand. Holy moly, man! Look at all that number. All right, there you guys go. Bomber cookie uh, with one star ascension at three hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred and seventy nine, which is not bad here. But let's look at this electrifying rock 10 second cooldown. 10 seconds? That's one of the fastest cooldowns I've seen in a while, man. 10 seconds is super, super fast. I believe Ginger Brave is like eight or nine. So here we go electrifying rock, black lemonade cookie plates, or electric guitar dealing damage to the enemy with the highest HP. Targets cookies first, inflicting zap and applying the debuffs that increase crit damage the enemy receives and decreases their defense. She then deals damage to the nearby enemies and inflicts a debuff reducing their attack. Black Lemonade Cookie grants the electrifying rock spirit buff to the team and strengthens her next regular attacks to the target, the enemy with the highest HP and the enemies near them. All right. Kind of confusing, we'll go to it uh, afterwards, but when ally cookies with the electrifying rock spirit buff deal zap damage or a critical hit, their electrifying rock charge increases. Once the electrifying rock is charged, they deal additional damage to the enemies, and while Black Lemonade Cookie is using her skill, she will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. But holy crap, it's been a while with an epic cookie that had this much stinking uh, wording. This is this is uh this is a legendary super epic ancient uh, style of of writing man. <laughs> the damage to target with the highest HP and that's gonna be the initial one, and it's gonna be one hundred and fifty six point six percent of attack plus forty eight point four of max HP. They did not say it was gonna be based on their max HP either. Forty eight point four percent of max HP. That that is almost fifty percent of their max HP. Okay, well, I'll have to test it out. But zap fifteen percent of damage every zero point five seconds for ten seconds, and then uh, we have twenty five percent defense reduction. Uh, crit damage is plus twenty two point five percent. That is huge. That is huge. All right. Uh, damage to nearby targets two hundred and ninety four point nine percent of attack, which is a little higher than this one. Uh, the the base number of that. And then attack is 13.5% decrease for 10 seconds. Uh, stronger regular attacks, 162.9% of attack plus 48% of max HP. Dude, she she seems pretty good. Huh? Chain attack to nearby target, 100% of the attack chains up to five times. Electric flying rock spirit, 15 seconds. Uh, the extra damage is 61.9% of black lemonade cookies attack for uh, each two times of crit hits or zap ticks dealt by allies under the electrifying rock buff rockstar is definitely definitely not gonna get out of the meta at all guys here we go 10-31 dark mode let's go let's go and then of course of course she's gonna have to be paired with someone like rockstar in my opinion and shining glitter like they work so well together all three of them are made for each other literally made for each other here we go wow 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 okay okay here we go. Let's see the uh let's see this. Do -do -do -do. There's the electrifying rock spirit buff. Okay, why is it so slow? Here we go. There is the receive extra crit damage. And looks like her um her cooldown doesn't happen right away. There is that little little timing of her enhanced skill, and then her cooldown happens. So I, I guess um, it's not technically 10 seconds. It's a little longer than 10 seconds because uh, there is that enhanced skill, it seems like. 
The enhanced damage, 400,000. Okay. Yeah, so it, it technically is around 12 to 13 seconds. And, well, while we do it, raid happens. So we'll go to that raid later on. Yeah, kind of like the transformation cookies where you have to finish the animation or such in order to actually have the cooldown go, you know. But here we go. Let's, uh, let's do the arena. All right, there we go. So let's look at this. Swift chocolate, swift chocolate. We got Syrian raspberry as well as Syrian raspberry and swift chocolate. Uh, the epic scroll watch as well as a whistle. Let's see how well this one does. I have to choose the right team to verse. All right, we'll verse this one for now. Two, two, one with the uh, with the the rare scroll. Might be Sherbet and Stardust, but we'll see how it goes. Let's do 1.2 times speed just to look at this skill here. Rock Spirit, and then we got the. Uh, Black Lemonade skill as well. Man, look at all these buffs. Holy moly macaroni. Alright. And... There we go. Man, sh Oh, because Shining Glitter is the uh, highest attacking cookie here, she definitely is taking in quite a lot of damage, especially from someone like uh, Stardust. And Shining Glitter did die there. Oh, okay. It seems to me that because of the fact that uh, they're using full Syrian Raspberry, they're kind of squishy. They're kind of really, really squishy here. Right now. Oh, let's just look at the damage real quick. Black Lemonade at 1 Star Ascension still doing quite a lot of damage right there. Alright, especially with that uh, in, uh, enhanced attack and such. Alright, so... Not bad. All right, let's switch up the topping real quick and see how, how well we can make this thing work. All right, so Swift Chocolate this time around. Let's see how this one works. It's a Frost Comp. It's a Frost Comp. All right, how well will our cookies do against a Frost Comp? All right, all right. Seems like Shining Glitter is literally able to keep up the entire... Uh, time the the glitter buff here oh, but there's that slow and everything okay decrease that Ooh, oh 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 the zaps dude she's a tank buster man she just shreds the tank man it's so laggy though. It's so hard to see. The zaps are insane too. Whoa! Okay, I thought I was gonna lose that, but even without anything, shiny glitter! What the heck? What is your damage? Huh? What? She did so much damage. I thought I thought uh, Black Lemonade did more damage, but 11 million? Holy moly. All right, here we go. We'll do it again. Full on solid almond, swift chocolate, solid almond, full swift chocolate, and full solid almond. And let's go target somebody here. All right, here we go. This is full raspberry glitter this time around. And we'll try a full crit glitter. All right. But man, that debuff immunity too. That four, per uh, four second debuff immunity is actually huge. And then the burst heal. Let's see the burst heal here. Rock steel. Oh my gosh. This is so big. Alright, alright. Oh, come on. Hollerberry died first. Okay, Shining Glitter. You need to do some big, big damage here. Sherbet is dead on the enemy team. They have their uh, herb and all of them alive still. But we don't have any crit buff this time around. They're Holoberry dead. I think we should be able to kill Pattaya here. Dude, oh my gosh, here we go. 10 million. Dude, it's literally these two. These two are made for Shining Glitter to do damage. Especially Black Lemonade. Black Lemonade's entire kit is allowing Shining Glitter to do way more damage.
All right, here we go. Full on uh, juicy apple jelly topping on our shiny glitter with some cooldown here. Oh, that debuff immunity. Oh my gosh. It's still the same it, uh, immune, immune to dis uh, disrupt. Boom. There we go. Debuff immunity. Debuff resist on top of the debuff immunity. Oh my goodness gracious. They got their T-Knight. Our cookies are not dying by them, bro. Their sherbet can't do damage. Alright. It's like it's like looking at a slideshow here. Rockstar heal. Oh my gosh, Rockstar heal insane. Oh no, but the T-Knight! Oh my gosh! Ah, dude, the T-Knight, the T-Knight, did T-Knight. Holy crap, what the heck is this damage? 19 million? I think this is the highest damage I've seen <laughs> so far. What is this damage? So I hope Black Lemonade's um, Syrian Raspberry mix will do a little more damage for us because it seems like Shining Glitter is doing a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, it's getting out healed. But oh my gosh, yeah, definitely a lot more damage onto Hollerberry. Do you see that? Oh my, where, whoa, 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 where did my Hollerberry's HP go? Yeah, we got rid of their Hollerberry super quickly. Parfait, I need your heal. Oh, Rockstar heal. Oh yeah, 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 definitely more healing or healing and damage right there. Oh goodness. Okay. We we yeah. Uh, a lot more damage. She she destroyed Hollowberry. Hollowberry just melted. All right guys, um but to end the review for Black Lemonade Cookie, I really think she's meant to be paired with Shining Glitter. Like her damage uh, increased with the buff that uh, Black Lemonade Cookie gives is absolutely insane. And she is the tank destroyer that we haven't seen in a while. All right, we had Sorbet back then, uh, but now she absolutely just destroys Hollerberry inside of the arena right now. So I think a comp will come out uh, with, you know, Shining Glitter and Black Lemonade. There is a possibility that their comps come out with uh, Parfait as well with Rockstar, but you know, even without Rockstar, I think Black Lemonade, as long as Shining Glitter has a full-on crit build, will work out. Because she already has enough uh, ways to enhance her skill with the Zap as well. So, the overall damage from Black Lemonade doesn't seem like a lot because she does target the enemy tank first. But from uh, what she's able to buff up, alright, your cookies, she definitely will be used if... Shining Glitter is going to be doing that much damage. Like, 19 million? That's the first time I've seen that kind of number inside of an arena battle right now. All right, so um, I will do more testing with Black Lemonade, but as of right now, if you have Shining Glitter, I think she will be greatly used. Without Shining Glitter, though, we'll have to see how it works out. Um, I don't think she's going to be directly used by herself. It'll be more towards uh, paired up with Shining Glitter. But if there's any comp that comes out with her, just her without Shining Glitter, then I'll also share that comp as well.